you're watching this, I'm dead. This is a code black. This message was automatically triggered when I destroyed the cave and everything it contained. We both know it won't take long for Gotham's criminals to realize the Batman is gone. And you can't count on the GCPD. They haven't trusted us since Jim died. Gotham will need its protectors more than ever. I'm leaving you the Belfry as a base of operations. Some of the technology is outdated, but it has the gear you need and all of my files. You've always had my back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. Good luck. And goodbye. about you. 
Your darkest secret. Your ultimate weakness. I know you are Bruce Wayne. So fast, Deathstroke. He's my kill. Find a body? No. And next time, keep your other assassins out of my way. You had your shot, Deathstroke. But you're not the only assassin in town. And the night is young.
The last will and testament of the deceased, Thomas Wayne. In the event of my death, I hereby declare that all my worldly possessions pass to my son, Bruce Wayne. Bruce, I ask that you honor the Wayne family legacy and commit yourself to the improvement of Gotham City, its institutions, and its citizens. Please, be strong. You are young, but destined for great things. Make the most of your opportunities. Use them to give back to a city that has given us so much. To change the lives of millions of people. Do not be frivolous with this wealth. Please do not waste it all on fast cars and outrageous clothes and the pursuit of a destructive lifestyle. Invest in Gotham. Treat its people like family. Watch over them and use this money to safeguard them from forces beyond their control. My deepest regret is I will not see you grow into the good man I know you will become. And finally, my son, I ask that you never abandon this city to fate. We have lived through dark days. No doubt there are more to come. But it is the good and great men who stand up for Gotham when others turn and run. In death, I will love you forever. Your father, Thomas. say that battle changes you. It makes you stronger. More ferocious. in the night. Watching. Learning. Hunting. Each time I enter the pit, I emerge reborn. Put the devil on the other side, and I will show up. Evolved. Adapted. And prepared. To fight. Savior. Monster. Guardian. Vigilante. 
the preservation of life. So often, the justification for taking it. Humans, elevating those that keep guard until they watch too close. And the so-called hero, condoning the very act he would condemn. Transgressions of the past shape actions to come. As offspring turns into adversary, yesterday's loss leads to madness. And God becomes tyrant, becomes outcast, becomes dust, as factions dissolve and form, and lust for power enslaves all. Such folly and futility in the grand design. Curious how lines once clearly defined become blurred. Hmm. Perhaps it is time for them to be redrawn. to stop me! <laughs> Any one of my guys would have killed him. The city deserves better than that. 
You know, my daughter thinks you're a hero. But I still have to bring you in. Gordon, come in. Watch your 20. I'm in the chapel. We got the Joker. Son of a bitch. You caught him. Then how did you do that? I had some help. I keep asking myself why I didn't bring him in. And I now know the truth is I let him go because of you. Because you believe in him. I don't know. They put me in charge of a station full of rotten cops. And I can't change them any more than I can change this damn city. Or at least that's what I used to think. <laughs> Stop his heart. That is funny. <laughs> Good one, Bats. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. Maybe... Maybe I can give them something to believe in. Maybe he can give them something to believe in. <laughs> Figured you'd be by sooner or later. And what happens if I don't sign? You rot in here, or you work for me. Why didn't you stop Batman? Hello. <coughs> me? It was your plan, you goofy clown! <coughs> I'm sending you back to the ventriloquist where you belong. You had to spoil everything, didn't you? Beating up Bane, feeding Scarecrow to Croc, slapping around Harley, my hobby by the way, and ruining all my lovely venom plants. It's over, Joker. Nicely done, Bats. You deserve a prize. Your old pal, Commissioner Gordon. Uh. Say, he looks all run down. Let's pep him up. No! Uh. Batman! Get away! Here we go! We're gonna have some fun now, kiddies! You're trying to resist a change! That's not fair! <gasps> Come on, get in! <gasps> so, you wanna play hardball, Bats? Do ya? Your call! <laughs> pickle, pickle! No! Oh. oh, you're ruining my big night! Months of planning down the crapper. I just wanted to bring down your grim facade and for once let you see the world as I see it, giggling in a corner and bleeding. But you've denied me even that. I have nothing to live for. So <laughs> staff at the mercy of the rampaging inmates. Just ten minutes ago, we received this taped message. Greetings, Gotham! Joker here! Arkham is mine! Soon I'll unleash madness and toll into the streets of Gotham. But first, direct your eyes to the rooftops and witness the final destruction of your dear Dark Knight. We 
We've been circling the tower since the... Wait! There! Joker is making his move! CPD finally has control of the asylum. Doctors are treating the injured, but it looks like it'll take some time. All super criminals are back in custody. <laughs> Quite a mess in there. And the venom-enhanced inmates are returning to normal. Though for some, the process can be quite painful. Dad, how are you doing? I'll survive. See you tonight, Barbara. Shame about your car. Can I give you a ride? Thanks, Jim, but I have one on the way. Get some rest. You deserve it. Stay safe, Jim. Hurry up and take your seat, Batman. The show's about to begin. Let's just talk about this. <laughs> now you want to talk. Too late, Batman. Give me the cure. But you've already got the cure. Talia, no! <laughs> Problem solved. You didn't need to... Why? You would never do it. You left me no choice. There's always a choice. I had to save you. Harley Quinn stole it for him. I took it back. It's over. Surprise! <laughs> Mr. J! You look perfect! Ring, ring! So how do you keep a secret from the world's greatest detective? Well, do you know? You stick it right in front of him, right under his long, pointy nose. And wait! Joker wants you to think he's sick. Then wait! Gotcha! You fell for the old fake Joker gag, Batman! Tell ya! I'm sorry, beloved. 
I didn't know. <laughs> Encore! More! Bravo! <laughs> it was never you. <laughs> Not always. Well, sometimes. <laughs> uh, confusing, isn't it? I know I'd want to know just what the hell is going on if I were you. <laughs> Let's just say, at times like these, it's important to keep up <coughs> appearances. But first, if you would be so kind, hand over my jaw. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for one night only, standing in for yours truly, and doing a damn fine job of it, I give you a clay face. Oh. You weren't even supposed to be in here, Carl. Why sign up with Joker? <clears throat> the role of a lifetime! Last chance. Oh, light, not that. The final act's just starting. It's a doozy. Gotham in hell. <laughs> it's not even breakfast. <laughs> but so what? We all know you'll save me. Every decision you've ever made ends with death and misery. People die. I stop you. You'll just break out and do it again. <laughs> Think of it as a running something funny even after everything you've done I would have saved you <laughs> that actually is pretty funny
What the hell happened in there? It's done. Gotham is safe. Thank you, Bruce. For everything. Goodbye, Jim. Vicki Vale for GCN reporting live outside Wayne Manor following the dramatic unmasking of billionaire Playboy Bruce Wayne. protect them very well we just saw Bruce Wayne now known to be the masked vigilante Batman enter his home refusing to come This is how it happened. This is how the Batman died. A friend once told me that criminals are a cowardly and superstitious lot. That the only way to beat them was to give them something to be scared of. I understand now. As his world grew darker, so did ours. When his war ended, our lives could begin again. He set us free to live, to love. There was an inquest, of course. Hundreds of suspects. Who killed Bruce Wayne? I guess we'll never know for sure. So what's next? Criminals are a cowardly and superstitious lot. What happens when they have nothing to be scared of? Who will protect Gotham now that the Batman is dead? Hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No one's coming, lady. Take his wallet.
Hey, freak, maybe you missed the news. Batman's dead. That look don't scare us no more. What the hell?